Hello guys, this is Mind Derpies here. I am in a creative world and we're going to start a new series called the Let's Build series. This series will be used to teach you some of the things that I have done or some of the other members on the server that I'm on have done um, to give you ideas how to build epic projects. Um, today's episode is going to be around a XP and mob essence processing facility to make liquid XP and to uh, turn that liquid XP into mob essence for auto spawners and items of such. So let me get the stuff that we need to get started and I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, so I got some of the materials here. First thing you'll need to do is find a location, wherever you want to build it at. I have a super flat world here, so it makes life a little, really easy here. So, um, you have two options. You can either go with a steel tank or an iron tank from Railcraft. Um, and you need open blocks as well. So those two mods are definitely going to be needed. And you also are going to need thermal expansion. These will give you the ability to make massive tanks. Um, to store your liquid XP and mob essence. The fluid ducts will give you the ability to move it around. And um, Open Blocks has a really nice, easy to use um, tank here. So um, I'm not going to show you how to craft this stuff. It's, you know, use any eye. You'll be able to craft as you go. Uh, so, but like I said, I'm just going to use everything from Creative World here. But. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build it with a steel tank because it holds more. As you can see, you can have it either a 9x8 um, or smaller. I'm going to build a 9x9x9x9x8 high. And um, once I get that built, I will then move on to the next step. So as I build here, I'll kind of go through why I have this. Why is this, why is this needed? Well... If you want to use Mine Factory Loaded, let's see here, one, two, three. If you want to use the Mine Factory Reloaded auto spawners, you need mob essence, um, and you can either use the you can either use the syringe and pull it out and actually waste your XP, or you can just store this massive tank of liquid XP, so that way you are able to. Um, store it, you can drain it, that way if you die, you don't lose levels, uh, you can have auto enchantment systems, the whole nine yards where, six, seven, eight, um, where you can really just have this massive XP storage system and not have to worry about, do I have 30 levels or etc. You're, you're always ready to go. Regardless if um, whether or not you have you know the 30 levels on your on your player, uh, you know great source for XP is uh, using the essence berries. That's also added by Tinker's Construct, I believe. Yes, Tinker's Construct found in caves. Um, Great thing to make sure you pick up as you um, are exploring, um, caving for ores. Every time you come across one, you definitely want to pick one of those up. Um, it will definitely help in your processing of XP. It give you always give you a reserve to pull from to make your XP processing facility infinite. Something I always do is I always add a drain in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Ah, it's not the middle. That's the middle. Um, that way, no matter what, if I need to come to it from the top, bottom, sides, whatever, we're ready to go. All 
right, just making sure I had it in the middle. Four, one, two, three, four. All right, and then I always stick one on the sides. You're gonna realize real quickly how fast you're gonna use these these ports. Um, and I like to add windows just so I can marvel at my XP storage. Um, a lot of times I build this tank underground, um, so it I may not have a lot of windows. It may be mostly steel, but since I'm building it above ground. Um, you know, I like to make sure, I like to show it off. Also, this is a multi-block system. If you're not used to using, uh, railcraft tanks. And, you know, this makes it easy to see when it switches to a multi-block. So, I'm going to continue on here, putting the glass in place. And then we will move on to the next step of the tank. All right, watch what happens when I place this last block. See how all the glass turns into these columns? And you right-click on it, you get... So you can store a, a lot of buckets worth of XP in here. Uh, you know, this is a great storage. Steel tanks, if you, can, if you have the ability to make it, are great. Otherwise, the iron ones are just fine. If you build the full-size iron tank, which is the same size as this steel one, it is half of what the steel tank holds, just for reference sakes. I'm also going to build a mob essence tank. So I'm going to duplicate this tank real quick, and I'm not going to do it on camera. There's no need to bore you since I've done it once. So once I get this built, I'll be right back, and I, we will move on to how to set up and get it ready to start processing. So uh, I will be right back with you guys. All right, guys, I'm back. We got the second tank built. Uh, you know, a great another tool is using the builder's wand. Um, this is the creative version. There is a regular version, which is right here. You can find them in dungeon chests, or you can create it um, using unstable ingots, which is quite the experience in itself. Um, it, it basically copies blocks for you, so you can just go down the line. So as long as you have the blocks in your inventory, so it was great for dues in this. Um, that's how I built the second tank here. So I just wanted to give that quick shout out about the builders one. It'll help if you have it. If you find one, make sure you grab it in the dungeon chest. So I will be right back um, when we start building the accessories here for the XP processing. Alright guys, I'm back. As you can see here, I have hooked up a tank with a fluid duct to the valve. I've put the XP drain on top of the open blocks. This works on any uh, drain, or this drain works on any, goes into any tank. I just happen to like this tank the best. Um, right now I have the fluid duct off. And then this is the tank. So what happens if I stand on it? As you can see, my XP levels go down. Um, and it's going to fill up the tank. Alright, so it stopped. That tank is now full. So, I can use the crescent hammer. Right click it once. And still nothing happened. I can either apply a redstone signal to this with a lever, redstone, uh, torch... 
you know, run run a computer to it, however, or you can use the servos. I went into survival mode so you could see how much XP I had, just so you could see it draining. Um, let me get the servo here. All you do is install it, right click with an empty hand, and turn to redstone control off. As you can see, it is now filling up the tank. This tank's draining. I'm going to stand on it. And let it let it suck me dry. So this is gonna take a little bit. So bear with me here while I try to fill this tank up some. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way because that's gonna take too long. But let me put some XP into here so we can move on to the uh, mob essence and into the deep storage unit as well. So let me get a little bit further. I just wanted to show you how this worked and. Kind of give you a gist. So put this in a building anywhere. Doesn't matter. I I a lot of times I use villages as my facilities, and I build down underneath that village. And I put this on the floor of the of one of the buildings. I come in, I stand on it. It drains my XP. It goes into the tank here, and it's always there, ready for me. Uh, you can build a special building for it if you wish. I've done that as well. Just keep in mind that this needs to be accessible for you to stand on to drain into and it's good for anybody so if there's more than one person playing on your server you all can stand on this it's a community tank it's the way that it's the best way for it to work so let me get this tank filled up some and i will be back with you all right guys i'm back made some progress here so as you can see the tank's filling up uh what i did is i these barrels from Extra utilities are also, you can put the drain on top of it. You can drain into the barrels as well. Um, it's another option. Um, I just lined up a whole bunch of them just so I can fill the tank. It's really the only reason I have them set up that way. Um, as you can see here, I got a line, fluid duct line running to the tank. We'll deal with that in a minute. But first, I wanted to show you kind of how this works over here. So... Looks like I forgot to put one of those in. Oh, it looks like I forgot to turn that on. So basically, when you get some of these essence berry bushes, I always put them on top of autonomous activators. What I put in this one is a watering can. Depending on the version of extra utilities you're running, uh, the current version that I am running um, does have these disintegrate over time. And create a move, it goes pretty quick. Um, so you will have to continue to create them. Um, it's stone in a bowl. I think, I think that's basically all there is into it. Some bone meal. It makes it grow faster so you can harvest faster. Um, so I put those in there um, so that way they can grow. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like opened up. You want to make sure you have it closed. If you have it closed, they will grow faster. It has to be dark. Um, so basically... Since this one's fully grown, all you do is throw that in there. So you, it instantly damages beyond use. And it's because I'm in creative mode. But it doesn't typically go that fast. I got vacuum hoppers in there, as you can see, which will collect the berries. And then they are coming into the deep storage unit. I just threw some berries in here to get us started. So it looks like what we have. So it, it'll collect. So that's kind of how I get... That's how I make the farm. You want this farm near this processing facility. I build it underneath. However you want to do it is entirely up to you. Um, as you can see here, I've got two autonomous activators, a vacuum hopper, turn off that, um, with the XP output coming out the bottom. 
To move this around, you right click on it and you drag. You hold right click and you drag. To say you want it to come out, you left click on a side. And see what it is, you just kind of get out of it. Oh, that's not where I wanted it. So now I need to know, now I know I need to go somewhere else. So you just left click on it again to get rid of it. The item part of it works the same way for the Essence Berry Farm, but that's kind of how that works. This is the item inventory, this is the liquid inventory. So why do I have this up? You can have 4, 6, 12, however many of the Thomas activators you want. I just have two for sake of showing. Um, I have the servo set to impulse high, so that way when I flip the lever, it turn on. If I want to flip it off, it shuts off. You can put it on the low, same thing, it's just the opposite. If it was on, if you want it to be on constantly, which I do not suggest you, you will burn through your XP uh, essence berries, and they will go into thin air and despawn, and you will have wasted your berries. So I do not recommend that you put it on this setting. Um, I recommend either high or low. And inside the deep storage unit, this deep storage unit is, has the ability to store two billion items. Yes, two billion with a B. This is infinite storage, basically. So I have 121,000 um, concentrated essence berries in here. All I have to do is flip the switch. They should start coming out. All right, sorry about that. So, as you can see, nothing's coming out. Why? It's really easy to figure that out. Because it, What's cool about item ducts is they will not take items out of the storage if there's not a valid storage plate for it to go to. So if I ever were to remove that, that is showing as an export. If I right-click on this and change it to blue, and same, same thing over here on this one, What I also suggest is turning this to, oh, round robin is not an option. If you have an option for round robin, you can do that as well. Once you see the red like this, that's your indication that your pipes are stuffed and your autonomous activators are working at its max capacity. So, as you can see, I'm using more XP than I can process. But that's okay. As you can see, I'm gaining it as a player. So you could stand there if you need, needed to to make sure you didn't waste any. And you can come over here to your drain and you can drain it into the tank only one thing is I haven't connected this yet so I'm wasting XP I wanted to show you how to connect it here so if you hop down here in the hole all you do is go to the tank go back into creative here get the fluid duct there we go. You really don't have to put servos on on fluid ducts. I like to do it just so it gives me the flexibility to whitelist, blacklist. Uh, you know, really give me the options that I I'm that I'm looking for. As you can see here, I got tons of XP. So to stop it. Make it day again. Go back to survival so I can stick these back in here.
so that's how you turn the essence berries into liquid XP. Real simple. As you can see, the buffer's full. You can add more of these vacuum hoppers to make it more efficient. Um, I let it, I, I open the the lever for like two, three seconds, just enough to get enough berries down into the process if I need to fill my tank. So as we see here, we're still filling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step away again, and I'm going to get us ready to go from liquid XP to mob essence. Mob essence to the auto spawner. So bear with me just for a few more minutes here. I will be back. And it won't be minutes for you because it will be instant because we're on video. But get my gist here. Let me prepare to make convert liquid XP to mob essence. Alright guys, we're back. So what we got here, this is very crude. Like I said, I usually build this on the ground so I have plenty of mounting options for levers and stuff. So I got a fluid duct coming out with the servo with always on. It goes into the open blocks tank, which is my favorite, as I said. I got some sewers. You can have as many of these as you wish. Uh, you just need one under each sewer. And all you need to do to make it work is flip the levers and the showers, which are these little things that are sticking out, will rain XP. And this XP will hit the sewer, which will automatically turn to mob essence, which will now pump into the steel tank. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit, but that's as simple as it is. Liquid XP to mob essence via the showers with Mine Factory re reloaded sewers. Real simple, compact. Like I said, you don't need these giant tanks. I just did it for... Um, you know, so you can see how big the tanks can be and how much they can truly store. So I'm going to let this run a little bit. As you can see here, we're quickly gaining mob essence. I will set up the mob spawner with a mob to spawn. And I will run it straight from this tank um, and show you the other options that we can also use for the mob essence. Alright guys, and we're back. So what I've done here is created a very crude mob spawner. I would typically build a building around this, build this in the ground, build these into the walls, have four of them, have another one here. The pipe would be underground. This would go in either into the ME system or whatever logistic pipe system, whatever system you may have for storage or a crystal chest. You know, something with lots of storage. Or you can have a ton of barrels for all your drops. Um, I put levers on it just so... It shuts them off. I know they look like they're running, but they're really not. This is the auto spawner. You need a safari net, reusable type. I have a cow captured. Which I'm going to put inside. Spawn exact copy, yes or no. Most cases, it's going to be no. The few times it's going to be yes is if you're trying to do wither skeletons. Um, the game doesn't recognize the wither skeleton as anything but a skeleton. So if you do it as exact copy, no, and you have a wither skeleton, it's going to spawn a regular skeleton. If you do it as exact, spawn exact copy, yes, it will spawn the wither uh, skeleton. So just keep that in mind when you're setting this up. I got item ducts running from all the grinders to a chest. Fluid ducts with the export out going back into the mob essence tank. Looks like I forgot to put the servers on. Like I said, I like to do it. It may not be required, but you know what? It saves the aggravation of trying to troubleshoot. So let's turn the grinders on. Simple redstone control. And let's turn the auto spawner on. It's going to take a few seconds to spool up here so you can see the idle but it's not going to spawn anything because we have no mob essence so let's take the crescent hammer to that now we got mob essence coming mm. and there's your cows mm. so they spawn they die mm. stuff's coming mm. shut it off you flip it as you see mob essence is now coming in the thing is this uses more mob essence than you will get from spawning. So don't rely on this as your sole source of reproducing 
the mob essence. So there's our raw beef and our leather. So, you know, don't use this as your sole source of mob essence. You really need to have a system like this in place so you can turn it quickly into mob essence and then transport it to this. Another option, instead of running all these pipes, say so you want this somewhere else. You can get the Tesseract. And we can do the same thing. So I just, let's make it day again. There we go. So I made that. Going to receive energy and receive fluid and no items. This one, I'm going to tell it to send energy, send fluid, and items nothing. And I'm going to put the creative energy cell there just so it's sending power. And as you can see, we still have power. And let's say we wanted to do the same thing here. So this is the spawner output. We want to receive items, but nothing on the power or the fluid for this one because it's going to the chest. We want to make sure we do what we need to do. There we go. So that way you receive it. This, we want to right click on it. And we'll see what I happened. I didn't save it. All right, sorry about that, guys. I accidentally closed the game. So, as I was saying, I did not save it. Even though I typed everything in and set all these configurations up, it didn't save. Only the configuration did. So, the biggest thing is you have to remember to click the plus. To spawn an output, you click it. Then you click that so it, it selects it. So, now that's receiving items only. Down here, now it's saved. We could click it. We set the frequency to, we're going to send items, and we're going to send fluid, and we're going to receive power. And just for sake of ease in this, I'm going to hook up a power block to that as well. And I'm going to do that to the other two here real quick. All right, so now those are all active. Everything's active. Nothing is connected. Just to confirm that nothing is connected, I'm going to disconnect everything from the back of the machines. Just to prove that Tesseracts work as intended. All right, so I flip it on. Remember the cooldown. We have 16 and 4, just so you have an idea what we had before we started with. How about we take that out? So things are dying. These work in a 5x5 five five area, so some of them may escape so they don't have it really done well. Look, there's items coming in. Look, it's staying full. Look, it's powered. Yep. 
7 and 3. Proof that it's working. So that's how you can also do it. You can do it remotely. Test racks are expensive. I will, you know, give you that. The pipes are going to be cheaper up front. But when you will have multiple villages, areas, community, if this is a community tank, set of tanks, you all want to tap into it. If there's multiple of you on the server, you can just build one giant tank. Everybody can donate to the XP. They can convert it to the mob essence and then you can use the tesseracts to send it throughout the world it's available everywhere so just keep that in mind as you build this make sure you build room for expansion if you don't build the big tank first keep in mind you may have to make the tank bigger so you want to build an area where you have that ability to grow i cannot stress that enough uh, you know you don't need to go full bore right off the get-go these drums are a great way to start off or even the tank such as um, such as the build the um, build craft factory tanks they work just like the tanks over the, the open blocks tank I'll I'll put it I'll put it down there. I'll get rid of some of this stuff in my inventory. All right. So put the drain on top of it. And it works just the same way. Only thing is these are harder to expand. And you have to drain them before you break. Because if you break them with their full, you will lose the liquid. Open blocks tanks. Let's turn it off. There we go. Let's fill it up. All right, now I got my axe. I'll break the drain and see, now we have mobile XP. If I break this one, it's empty. So keep that in mind. That's why I like the open blocks tanks. It's obsidian and glass. It's real easy to build. It's, you know, it's fairly early game once you find some diamonds. That's why I highly recommend the open blocks tanks. You can move them, you can do whatever you want with them and just be carefree if you have to move you have to move no big deal if you break this it breaks the multi-block structure but the moment you put it back in it refills so as you notice sometimes when I look away it it's a visual glitch it's it's all the fluid still in there so that's that's the quick and easy way to make a liquid XP to mob essence auto spawner setup uh, it's worked great I've used it in two worlds now uh, you know it, we use it as a community donation pool uh, we use tesseracts um, just like over here let me get a tesseract here real quick All right, go back to the creative. Let me get a Tesseract. You know, one more thing here just to show you real quick. You can either also do this. You can have remote XP donations. I'm going to set this to send fluids only. As you see, I forgot to save it. Here we go. I put the tank on top. All 
What's cool about these also, they're infinitely expandable. Look sharp. Put the drain on top. It's not going to work. Why? Because the Tesseract has to have a fluid pipe. Fluid duct. Enable it now, it's draining. But it's not coming out like it's supposed to. It's always a small thing with the test deck. You want a fluid receive. Ah, see? I have it in fluid receive. Should be in fluid send. As you can see, it says it's flu sending fluid, it's receiving nothing. It's sending nothing, it's receiving fluid. Let me trope, let me bug shoot this real quick and figure out why it's not sending it through the through the pipe and I will be right back with you. All right, I'm back. So apparently I forgot that you can't disconnect directly to receive out of the tesseract. So I put a tank in front of it. That tank's draining. Here's proof it's draining. This tank is holding steady and it's draining into the large tank. I can stand on top of it. And it's filling it up with what levels I have. But yeah, you kind of see it's holding steady. So I'm not really putting in any, in any more than what it's taking out. So this is another way you can set these up throughout all your villages and on all your buildings. Uh, that you can donate wherever on the fly. So that way you can have this tank in one central location. doesn't matter where it's at. One person can be in charge of keeping an eye on it. Or everybody else just donates and it goes into the tank. So that is the XP processing, mob essence processing, and mob spawner setup. Using nothing but essence berries, player XP, Liquid X, turning it into liquid XP, turning it to mob essence, and then using it for whatever you need to use it for, such as a mob spawner. That's the most common use. Once again, this is Mind Derpies. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Also consider subscribing. It helps out a lot. If you have any suggestions for any future builds, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at mderpies. Leave a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash mindderpies. We can leave a, leave a comment. We will be more than happy to take a look at it and see if we can't make it work for you. We'll try to make a project that works for you. Or leave a, a comment in the section below. I will also read those. So I am looking for any and all builds that you'd like to see. Try to make it efficient. I, I try to make things as efficient as possible. I know it doesn't look very efficient here. Uh, you know, it's I did it for above ground, so for ease of seeing what I was doing, and so you could actually see from all angles what I was doing and how I did it. Uh, you know, typically I like to have all pipes hidden, running underground. Um, I have things closer than this, so you know, keep that in mind. Remember to leave room to grow. Once again, this is Mind Derpies. Have a great day.